Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create this submit button so when you click on it, it's going to start animating, splitting into these dots, changing places and then finally getting around to this check mark. So if I switch to show you once again, you can see the entire process and then check mark is showing at the end. So let's get started. So to get started, we are going to create an artboard of 800 by 800. You can obviously integrate this into your own project. I just want to show you on this particular size. So I'm going to start with a rectangle tool, draw a nice big rectangle and use the dimensions of 500 by 120. I'm going to position it in the center of my artboard like this. I'm going to introduce the corner radius of 100 and then I'm going to remove the border, call this BTN BG for example. And for the color, I'm going to use a nice blue color. So 3152AC, press enter, and you can see a nice blue color. Once again, make sure everything is in the center. And before we move on, I just want to bring in some guides. So simply hover right here and when you see this on your screen it means you can select the guide from either the left side of your artboard or from the top side. I need to position this on the left and the right so I can know when my circles split left and right where they can go and I need them to go to the outer edges of my button. So let's add some text. I'll click and type submit like so. Make sure that the text is white. I'm going to use Open Sans. I'm going to increase the size to let's say 36. That looks good. Make sure it's center aligned. Click right here, then right here, and basically group these two, and I'll call them Submit BTN, like so. Next, I'm going to create my circles, and to do that, I'm going to duplicate this. Hit Control D, move it outside of the folder, and I'm going to simply uh, hide this button. Now I'm going to call this circle 2 for example and I'm going to, as you can see height is 120, we want to make the width 120 as well, make sure it's in the center, then hit Control D, call this circle 1, like so, and then simply move it right here so you can see it, Control D one more time and then simply hold your shift key and right arrow key move this right here so you can see it and that's why we created uh, these guides now select all three make sure they are in the center like so and simply group them hit ctrl g and call them circles and that's basically it for the creation process i'm going to move this below my submit button so you cannot see it and now we have to create additional artboards there is going to be a total of eight artboards and before you ask, no, we cannot use components for this one because components don't have a time trigger and we need the time trigger, especially for the circles when they are animating. So we have to use additional artboards and at the moment of making of this tutorial, Adobe XD does not have that option and I really hope that they include it in the future because it's going to make our lives as a designer a lot simpler and easier because we already have these amazing features with components but we still don't have that time trigger so that's why i said we need to create additional artboards so as we wait for that feature to arrive let's start working so i'm going to lower the opacity of the entire circles folder to zero and then i'm going to hit ctrl and d right here and then on this one what i'm going to do is simply use this submit text move it outside so simply hold shift and move it up and then lower the opacity then i'm going to use this one give it 120 make sure it's in the center like so and then lower its opacity and now i'm going to increase the opacity of my circles like so next up i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it one more time then we are going to explore these circles and move them around so not to get distracted because as you can see if I click here and hold it it's going to select it but if I for example click here it's going to click on my submit button so in order to avoid that simply hide it for now and then you can bring it back once you reposition everything you need like so 
now you can bring it back now for this next art part what we are going to do is actually rotate these so for example i'm going to select two and three simply hold my shift key and rotate them like so next duplicate my artboard select the center one so in this case it's number three and number one so select them hold shift rotate them like so then duplicate the artboard one more time select your circles and make sure all of them are in the center like so next i'm going to create that check mark so hit ctrl d to create your check mark and what we are going to do is actually use the pen tool so i'm going to zoom in a lot closer i'm going to hold my shift key and create something like this for example then hit escape so that i can confirm my selection for the size let's use something like six i think that looks good maybe even eight if you want something uh, even brighter let's say then position it to the center of your page so simply click on it click right here then right here make sure it's white like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to have this animated so we're going to have additional artboards so what i'm going to do is create another artboard like so and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this as it is because that's our final state now right here I'm going to jump inside double click right here simply move this in like so and then i'm going to select my pods hit ctrl c jump into this artboard hit ctrl v it's going to paste it in exactly the same position but now i'm going to duplicate sorry double click right here move this here and click right here move this in like so and then simply lower the opacity down and that's basically it because now it's still inside but without any opacity now it's showing and now it's revealed and that's what i was saying about time triggers because animation like this requires time triggers and we don't have that yet in the components i really hope that they include it in uh, some of the future updates and i saw that the team is working hard on it but as for now we still don't have it unfortunately so now it comes the time as you can see we have two four six eight we have to animate all of these artboards so let's start by clicking right here i'm going to click on my button drag and drop we're going to use tab we're going to use auto animate is in out and 0.6 seconds for example because i want to make this nice and easy next for the next artboard we are going to use time and that's why i keep saying that we do need something like this so we're going to use time from here for the delay we're going to use 0.6 seconds because we want to make a delay between this transition and this transition we're going to use uh, auto animate instead of easy in out we're going to use snap and 0.6 seconds works well now for this next artboard we still have time so drag like so time delay is going to be zero seconds and because we can see it right here you can simply type in 0.0, .0 press enter and now we got zero we're going to use easy and out instead of snap and for the duration 0.6 works well now for this next state simply drag it like so it's going to copy exactly the same settings that we used for this now for this next one drag it to here what we're going to use is time we're going to use the delay of 0.6 seconds we're going to use snap because we want to snap uh, these three into place like so and 0.6 seconds works well now for these next ones we're going to use time once again delay is going to be zero seconds so 0.0, .0 press enter we're going to use easy and out for this one and duration of 0.6 seconds and finally for this last one simply drag it and we are going to have exactly the same settings now to preview our animation i'm going to click right here enlarge it so you can see it click you can see text disappears circle split then come back with the snap and then this check mark reveals itself if i go back you can see that the uh, text animation nicely flows out 
and disappears and that's why i was saying uh, you can leave it in place but it's going to look weird once uh, this button starts to shrink inside to become a circle and it's going to cover this text basically that's why i put it right here you can always include additional features like enlarge it or uh, reduce its size and so on just to make it uh, a bit more interesting then once it gets into place you can see this snap animation this switch snap again and then check mark so that's it for this video i really hope you liked it if you did make sure to press that like button i upload new videos like these every single week on new iux design passive income techniques motivation and more so if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care